Hey everyone, this is Chef Toby Gartenberg. Today I'm showing you how to make a maple halal loaf. So we're going to start with putting two and a half cups of plain flour in a bowl of our stand mixer. Then we're going to add a couple teaspoons of salt. I'm using regular salt. You can use kosher salt if you like. But regular salt dissolves better in baking. Okay. Quarter cup of white sugar. Then I have one package of instant yeast. There is a difference. So, this is instant yeast. And this is regular active dry yeast. So if you guys make this recipe and something goes wrong um, with your rising, just pay attention to the package. Anything that says instant, fast, act, fast acting, those are all instant yeast. And the instant yeast because you can just pour it into your flour and not have to proof it because it dissolves instantly. So I'm just gonna. Get a quick little. So, a couple of other things here. Gonna add one cup of warm water. And I'm going to mix this just until it starts to come together. Okay, so now that this is pulling together, I'm gonna add. Just a little less than half a cup of flour. I have here two whole eggs and one egg yolk. And I set aside the egg whites because that's going to be used for the egg wash. I have um, this is a quarter cup of vegetable oil. You have to use vegetable oil, it's not going to really have the flavor. Other oils have other flavorings. And then I'm going to add to this also a quarter cup of maple syrup. Of course, because this is a maple hollow. About two minutes on medium speed. So we'll be back in two minutes. So it's been two minutes. Now I'm going to add. As much flour as I can without um, causing the dough to become too stiff. I got a total of uh, five cups of flour and so far we begin with just adding half of that. So I'm going to add about three quarters of a cup more flour. Here. So you see, this is still pretty wet. So I'm going to add another half a cup. And I'm going to let it mix until everything pulls up down from the sides of the bowl. Okay, see so it's starting to clean the sides of the bowl. So, just slowly keep adding, you know, about a quarter cup or so of flour until it makes a nice dough. So I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. This is at the right stage. So I've still been continuing to add the flour. I've added about close to four and a half cups. Not exactly four and a half cups, more like four and a third cup of flour. And as you see, it's still pretty sticky by touch. So, I'm going to add a few more tablespoons of your flour. I'm going to bring it right at four and a half cups of flour. I've only been mixing this to give it time for everything to combine so I can touch the dough. I actually haven't been kneading this dough for a long period of time. 
This is just to kind of check the dough to see where we're at. I'm gonna pull this off the machine for a second. I'm gonna pull everything together with my hands in the bowl here. I think we're where we want it to be. It's still okay, so the dough is still sort of sticky. So I'm gonna add a third cup more of flour and then let it mix and see what the dough feels like. I want it to still be sort of sticky but not too sticky. I'm just going to pull everything in the bowl together to kind of help it out. But uh, I can already tell that this is perfect. It's not sticking to my hands too much, but it's still slightly sticky. So I'm going to pull all this together and I'm going to let the machine knead this for about five minutes. And then we're going to Clean the bowl. I'm going to spray it down. Okay, so let this knead for about five minutes and we'll see what it looks like. So it's been six minutes. Let's have a look at the dough. So I think this is pretty good because I'm going to pull this into the surface and finish kneading it by hand. Slightly sticky, but that's not a bad thing. So I'm going to uh, dust my surface with some flour. See, the dough is still Rather sticky, but not too sticky. Okay, so I just want to knead it a few times just to make sure everything is okay with the dough. And this is why I sort of left it sort of sticky. So that way those two tablespoons of flour wouldn't let my dough come out too dry. This dough looks beautiful. So I got some uh, baking spray here. I'm just gonna spray my bowl. Okay. Then just simply take your dough. It's a beautiful dough. Place it into the bowl and give it a flip. Okay. What this does is help prevent a crust from forming on top of the dough. I don't have plastic wrap, so it will work. Okay, so, oh, yeah. Spray the inside of the foil too. Or plastic wrap if you have it. The whole purpose is just to keep the draft away. Let it rise for about an hour and a half. Okay, so it's been about two hours and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna press all the air out of the dough. Okay, so I'm going to separate the dough into six even pieces.
Um, after you get six equal pieces, we're going to roll it out into a long strand. I didn't have to flower my surface. So roll out each one, same equal length. Okay, so now that we got six strands of dough here, we're going to attach all of them to top. Okay, so to braid it, take the far right strand and bring it over to the left. Take the far left strand and bring it over to the right. Then you're going to take the middle strand and bring it down to the middle. So this far second strand is going to go over to the right. And this is going to go over to the left. And then that one goes back down the middle. So when you get to the very end of your hollow, just simply tuck it up under. Now I'm going to place this onto a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. And then the egg white that we saved, we're going to brush it down. So I have um, the egg white that we saved earlier. And I put in a tablespoon of water and I beat it very well. I'm just going to brush the hollow down. And then we're going to let this rise for about 45 minutes. Okay, so now that the hala has risen, um, it's been about 30 minutes. Um, this is going to go in a preheated 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. I baked my hala for about 29 minutes. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, I'm going to just pull it apart. Nice golden bottom. The inside is nice and soft. So we're going to taste it. Haksamea. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. This is really amazing I did let this cool for like 20 minutes before I pulled it apart but um it's not too sweet you can taste the maple soft nice texture I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it please do not forget to rate comment and subscribe remember to live and be well do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse also Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.